started, uh, well, my grandfather started mining back here in 1910, I believe. And uh, we've held the claims through the years, patented them. Uh, and uh, there are two main mines, the Dewey and the Sunnyside. My mom and dad uh, came back here. Well, mom came in in 1914 when she was two years old. We have a picture of her on grandpa's back coming in on the snow into the Dewey mine. And uh, <clears throat> then in 1935, grandpa worked the mine through the, through the uh, depression. Didn't even know there's a depression going on because of the gold mine and, uh, and the remoteness. 1935, uh, on the, in the mid-30s, he brought in a strapping young man from McCall. We have a lot of history in here. And the mine operated in 1986 to 1992 by Coeur d'Alene Mines. It was a heap leach mine. The other mine, Dewey Mine, operated last in the 1970s. And uh, after Coeur d'Alene Mine moved out, we made a joint venture with Dewey. And uh, the goal was to, and gold prices were $260 an ounce then. We made a goal of either finding someone to come in and do more exploration and put it into production, or to work with an organization to try and sell the claims. If anybody's ever been in the mine permitting business and try to permit a mine in the waters of the Salmon River in a wilderness area. Lots of luck. <laughs> yeah, lots of luck. <laughs> You're not even in a wilderness area. <laughs> so uh, we started negotiating with Trust for Public Lands in the early 2000s and uh, came to an agreement. Uh, the Forest Service uh, did an appraisal on it. They actually mined it on paper. Uh, they appraised it at $13 million. We donated back $7.5 million to Trust for Public Lands worth of value. They paid us seven and a, or $5.5 million and uh, took over uh, reclamation responsibility, which was a big issue for Thunder Mountain Gold at the time. Uh, we bought out our partner's Dewey Mine in escrow, and we owned it. Escrow, we also turned it over to uh, Trust for Public Lands and the Forest Service, because the Forest Service came to the table with about $900,000. And that was September 2005. We've since taken some of that money and done other things with it, this Thunder Mountain. And, but one of the things that we wanted, well, there were a couple of things we agreed in the agreement with Trust for Public Lands. One, the road stayed open to the mine because it's, a, it's so to maintain for the hunters and everybody else, the Caswell family, they wanted to get back there. And the other thing, one of the other things, to get some recording done with my mother while she was still alive, and some of the history, which we have about three pile of CDs that they did. And the other, the last thing was this plaque. And uh, uh, we worked on the wording of it. Jim Agnew was instrumental in that, and uh, several others. But if you've ever tried to put words together for something like this, it's about 13 people doing the editing. <laughs> I think Frida was part of that too. But uh, we wanted to recognize what went on back here for people who came in, because this is not a forgotten part of the world, and uh, we wanted to keep that memory alive, and that's what we're doing here today is dedicating this. And I really thank the people that trust for public lands and the Forest Service and, and Midas Gold for helping make this day happen. And one of the, one of the strongest efforts in the Forest Service has been Jim Agnew. Jim, if you want to come up and say a couple of words, I'd really appreciate it. Well, I'm going to be brief, um, but I've only, I've, I'm a short timer. I've been involved with this project for 19 years. Uh, <laughs> and, I, you know, it's, it's one of the, I guess, probably one of the most the proudest things that I'll ever have, I'll have in my Forest Service career to make this happen. Um, and it's, it's, the whole history of Thunder Mountain has come to mean a lot to me too, and uh, I'm just happy that everybody's here, and I'm happy it's uh, we're gonna preserve some of it. So, anyway, it's been great working with you. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Yeah. And it's really great that this weekend worked out well for the Caswell family because that's yeah. what we're <laughs> and and we tried to do it last September, but the gods weren't smiling. They decided to have a blizzard up here. Carrie can attest to that. She was down at the open mine and had trouble getting out. That's another story. But uh, anyway, this